So panopticon's actually a term I became more recently aware of. It's a design for a prison where there's the uh, the entire prison is either like a semicircle or a full circle or a dome or whatever. And there's a great tower in the middle. Some of the security cameras aren't working. How do I get those fixed? Maintenance it staff will repair any damaged systems once normal operations have resumed, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. The idea is that one person can just be at, uh, in the top of that tower and they can simultaneously see every single cell in the entire prison. That's the Panopticon. The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. That was actually a Panopticon in Guardians of the Galaxy, I believe. The one where weirdly the top of the Panopticon tower like was also a ship, I think, that could fly away or something. That was a whole thing. People that live in these kinds of situations report an increased paranoia. Just a constant, endless paranoia, if I remember correctly, because they they're just always being watched all the time in a very, very explicit way from this big obvious viewership tower. Distressingly, because of how many shootings there have been, uh, they're starting to build uh, United States schools with the same mentality to make the, uh, this, this really particular pattern where everyone can be observed simultaneously, which can lead to the students themselves having this increased sense of paranoia because of the design of the architecture. And this is the kind of power that that architecture can have over the human mind. That's why it's all, it's all important what kind of thought goes into these places. For more context, you can check out the Jacob Geller video, Designed for Violence. Funnily enough, I knew that he made a video on control, which I was avoiding watching because I'm getting ready because I'm trying to beat the game first. But coincidentally, I didn't quite register this, but the, it was a it's a video that's about control and anatomy, which is another game I just played recently for reasons completely unrelated to that. I played that game because of Aaron Signal, not Jacob Geller, but now uh, it's a two for one. Now when I get around to that video, I will have already played both games. And you guys will have already seen both games if you watched this and anatomy. If you want to go on this really specific journey with me. <laughs> Stressing. Whew. These areas would really freak me out if I was here for real. I'd, I'm not good with heights. This is... Every room is heights around here. There's a lot of suspended areas I'm dealing with lately. Like how in Silent Hill, whenever you're in the hell version of places, the nightmare version, the Silent Hill rusty version, the gore and rust version, you're always walking on grates over a great abyss to reinforce the idea that you're not standing on the concrete ground, but instead are over a great abyss being held up only by a weird lattice that's more air than it is material. And at any moment it could collapse. It won't, because it's a metal lattice, most likely. So it's pretty... Sturdy, just, but it's a form of sturdy lattice that specifically is fragile by appearance. Because it's mostly air and very little of it's actually material. They have an, there's an oscillating fan objects of power. It's a wooden mallet. Like a carnival mallet. This place is a trip. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. Oh, that thing's coming around. Is that coming after me? Uh oh. I can't use my gun, so I guess I'm probably safe. Oh! <gasps> nope, I'm, I seem to be safe right here. I don't think they'll let them in. Hopefully it doesn't attack me the moment I arrive, though. He definitely had an opening, but there was an invisible wall to stop him.
We seem contained. No external windows at the moment. Is this a fridge that you have to stare at? What's going on here? What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times or it deviates. My shipper blade will never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. What? Assist the agent in the panoptic on cell after Dylan has been found. Bridge duty. It has to be observed at all times? Can you blink? Like, how strong is the observing at all times part is my question. Uh... Can I... Can we put daily quests that don't matter as much in a different category? This quest log's not quite what I'd want it to be. I would like main quest, side quests, time limit quests, and then like achievement style quests. Like these are on top, which is weird. And this is in the way of me getting to the more important things that are over here. I don't know. This could be, the, que the quest log feels like it could be better. So I'm not allowed to help him now. I have to deal with the other thing first. He can't stare at it for much longer. Or deviates. I feel like there shouldn't just be one guy alone. That seems like you're begging for them to have a problem. It feels like there should be a team looking at it. But maybe when there's a team of them, they tend to distract. Maybe they'll end up distracting each other. <clears throat> oh, hello. Sorry, try to survive. I'm helping. You can't dodge forever. There we go. Beat him. You guys doing alright? Hey, they lived. That's good. Uh, 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 oh, hello. Ready for tractor? Dead tractor. Ah. This ends very poorly for you. You guys both live? Are we down to one of you? Oh, they see a health bar flicker below me. Maybe you fell down. Or maybe there was always someone down there. Right, these bridges have like an under area. I'm kind of excited about there being a TV out object of power. They're all about cin cinema, uh, cinematic stuff That's and the, object of power. the power of I cinema. These developers. Oh yeah. I knew it was going to be cool. I knew it. Up and down immediately changed. I slid down the f I slid across the floor and then fell downward to here because yep, we pivoted to this being the down direction when it used to be up there. Yep. These are the people that make live action stuff all the time and are all obsessed with cinema and so on. Of course the TV was going to do something weird and crazy. Oh, ow. That looked weird.
What's your deal? Hello. Audio is getting weird. Uh oh. There are numerous foes. We're gonna have a big. We're gonna have a big fight. Here comes big fight. Oh. Oh, he's a boss. I gotta remember not to let my thing fully lose its charge. Just it always goes poorly for me. No, I meant to droop oh. Getting crowded around here, are we? Oh shit, I'm about to die. I'm about to fucking die, fucking die, fucking die. Nope. Get him. No, damn it, I'm trying to get them. Man, I'm bad at Pokemon. I'm trying to capture these guys. And I just can't get them on my team. Ow. Fuck. Big ouchies. No, 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 don't die. That's not great news. No! Oh. One little rocket. Man, they're hard to see. You have to find, like, it's like a little tiny dark mass with some sparkles behind it, basically. It can be very hard to pick out of the mess of all the stuff happening on the screen. And that's even without your screen getting covered in other stuff. Am I going the right way or am I going backwards off of- uh, I'm so turned around. I don't- I don't know. It, did I already cross the bridge? Where was the checkpoint? Okay, no, I think this is the right way. Health management is tough in this game. Because you very quickly lose all your health. And then you can only heal so far by running up to globs of the particles that fall off of dead enemies. It's a, it's a challenge. Help. Thank you. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm instantly dead. Jesus. They don't even give you that much healing when you kill them either. Like, their drops just aren't that much, that much healing. You end up trying to kill five dudes to recover from the d consequences of getting hit once. Everybody shoot him for a bit, please. Ah!
I can't see him. Where is he? There's just too much debris flying around for me to even see him sometimes. All right, come on. Gah. Where is he? There he is. Go away. The adults are fighting. Ah, uh, god damn it. God damn it. Jesus Christ, I'm already down to one particle again. Uh, it's so hard to fucking aim. God damn it, his shield's back up. Uh, that didn't that didn't help at all. Fuck. Fuck, run. Where is he? Where is he? I missed. And he recharged. Great. Great. I can't. Uh, I'm out of. I'm out of juice. No, come on. He dies in one hit. God damn it. God damn it. Damn it. God damn it. <sighs> it's a struggle. I keep losing him in the mess because like the whole screen's red and covered in particles flying around. And then I try to throw things at him and I see the lock on. So I'm like, okay, cool. I've locked on. It'll hit him. And then it just doesn't hit him. And I'm like, come on, man. I can't control the lock on. It. It's locked on. That's it. Oh, here comes these guys. Go away. And yeah, once, once the enemies are gone, you just, you're out of healing. So you got to focus him while the enemies are still around, which is a problem because the enemies are trying to kill you too, but... You need, you need things to get... Well, you don't need to keep them around, necessarily. It's just you have a limited pool of healing that's based on the number of enemies that are around. What was that again? Oh, right. That's the other button that's mapped to that. God damn, I just half killed him before I could even get ready. Why did it miss? It's a lock on.
Yeah. There we go. That was almost weirdly easy, honestly. It wasn't nothing, but I was really shocked by how quick he went down. It's cause, partly because you can just abuse the hell out of his spawn and do a lot of damage before a shield goes up. Like, way more than I thought possible. That was crazy. Whew. Nope, everyone changes. Okay. The TV. Another object of power gone nuts. The anchor supplement. The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the Loch Ness Monster's stomach. Witnesses describe it as a black sphere of fainting light, a faint light behind it. A black sphere with faint light behind it. Like a eclipse sort of look. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew, by throwing a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere, soon after the vessel lost structural integrity. The ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes as the ship sank. The sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the B rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but handling the anchor was proved harm harmless. The item was transported by the... After arriving in New York, it was brought into the Bureau... Ooh, wow, I, that gave me the I'm currently rotating feel. Jesus. That's a visual. That's neat. Oh, it's like opening up. Is it getting closer to me too? It is getting closer to me. Oh my god. On top of spinning, it's coming closer to me. That's a visual. Okay, I can't just keep going. I have like a limit to it right now. I'm like, excuse me, I can fly? It seems pretty limited at the moment, but maybe it'll get stronger. Wow. Well, this changes things, doesn't it? Now if something is way- now if something is some horizontal distance away, I can just go to it. This counts towards my 50, which I still haven't gotten. It seemed like a pretty easy task when it was first proposed to me. 
Because you can kill lots of enemies pretty easily in this game, usually. The issue is that whenever anything challenging does pop up, you do die so fast that, like, you can very abruptly just completely get obliterated. Why am I fighting things? It's a, isn't this a tutorial for flying? You definitely seem to run out of juice pretty quickly at the moment. But you might be able to control it. Or you might be able to upgrade it with the skill tree. Did I already get my headshots? Well, she's adapting to be able to move me like this pretty quickly. Okay, dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Got a kick out of the naming there, by the way. They give two names to everything of the board. Every noun gets two names. And they called it the television slash babysitter. Yep. A lot of people can relate to that idea. The idea of their parents just seeing them in front of a television because they just need someone. They just need. They just need you to do something for a while. Just, just, just come on. Just, oh. Hey there. Boop. Oh god. There's a lot of. I'm getting a lot of attention right now. We got gotcha. you. A few different options here. So I, yeah, I, can, I can mix my levitation with my dash with my slow fall to cover some distance. Rather awkward place for you to spawn, but okay. Hello. You guys are boned when I get a sniper rifle bat to shoot back at you with. Be gone. Blocking my path, how dare you. Now we're headed for the fifth floor. Oh, they spawned an enemy there because that's how they want me to get there. It's a clue. And now we're on the fifth floor. There's a swan boat, looks like. That's a swan boat, right? Yeah. My first bullet was powerless against it. A water cooler. A crowbar. Is that so that's where Half-Life 3 went. Dylan. He's so close. What? I thought these were noise. I thought this was noise dampening phone. It's it's concrete. That's not what I was expecting at all. Dylan, where you at? Alright, we're in. Wish me luck.